Welcome to the first Friday of 2018. I'm in crushed velvet. Isn't this exciting? A whole nother year of drink making ahead of us. I make drinks every Friday that I see on Pinterest. Uh, I've been doing it for a couple years now. Still haven't run out of drink ideas. So as long as there are drink ideas to try, I'm gonna try them. For the month of January, I thought it would be fun to do all champagne type drinks, like celebration drinks. So I do have a month, like four drinks lined up of champagne drinks. However, I received this wonderful um, craft cocktails calendar and I thought it would be fun to try the, the monthly drink on this calendar every month. And for January, it's not a champagne drink. So even though I wanna do all champagne celebration drinks in January, I can't start the year off already breaking my rule that we're going to try drinks on the calendar. This month is an amaretto sour. Believe it or not, I've never had one. Quick disclaimer, I don't know if it's a disclaimer, but in the past, any drink that has required amaretto, I have, I accidentally purchased Di Serono. And then I'm like, they look the same. They probably are similar. But now that I'm having an actual Amaretto Sour, I couldn't very well use Di Serono because it is different. But does it taste different? I'm gonna test, taste test them right now and find out if they're actually the same thing. Amaretto has a classic flavor of bitter almonds and tender apricots. Apricots? How do you say it? That's not bad. That's like a, you know what it reminds me of? My mom used to always wear um, Jergens cherry almond lotion. And she would put it on. I feel like that's what I'm drinking, but in a good way. Di Serono doesn't even have a description. It's just an Italian liqueur. Okay, they're very similar <laughs> to me. I think this is the same drink. This one, the other one goes down a little smoother, if that's a thing, but I don't think I needed to buy this. They taste exactly the same. Di Serrano is an amaretto tasting liqueur with a characteristic almond taste made in Italy. It's the same drink. Let's get started, shall we? To make the amaretto sour, you need to pour into a cocktail shaker filled with ice, one and a half ounces of amaretto liqueur, one ounce of simple syrup and three fourths ounce of fresh lemon juice. We're going to shake it and strain it. We're gonna garnish it with an orange slice and a maraschino cherry, and we're gonna love it. Would you just look at her? I think it's gorgeous. I think I really nailed my first amaretto sour. It was easy to make, it's pretty. Uh, simple ingredients so far, we're, we're doing really well on my rating system. Uh, but now is for the make it or break it or the deal breaker. This is for the final conclusion. Mmm, <laughs> that is delightful. I think I could have done with a little less simple syrup because it is a little bit sweet. The lemon offsets that. I don't know what the orange is for, but I like the way it looks. I could drink this and not vomit afterwards. That is when you know you've got a winner on your hands. This is the kind of drink you make when your husband gets home from a long day at work and you need something to sip while you listen to how his day went. I really enjoy it. I think an amaretto sour is a home run. I don't know what took me so long, but I'm got, glad I got this calendar to show me the way and give me some new ideas. Thanks, calendar. Make yourself an amaretto sour. If you don't have amaretto, you can use Di Serrano. If you don't have amaretto or Di Serrano, scrap it. Have a glass of wine and a good weekend. Cheers. Oh!